went wrong. Now at noon, NTSB investigators arrive at the scene of a deadly news helicopter crash in South Jersey as we learn more about the pilot and photographer who were killed. There's heartbreak and many unanswered questions. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. Investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board have arrived at the site in Washington Township, Burlington County, and begin to look at what caused that helicopter to go down. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Ryan Hughes is live at the staging area in Chemong Township. Good afternoon, Ryan. Jim, good afternoon. The NTSB and a team of eight specialists are now on the ground here. This afternoon, they are deep inside the Wharton State Forest, about three miles from here, beginning to walk around the area where that helicopter crashed and now also looking at the wreckage. We're told the cold weather and the terrain are causing some challenges, and they will be here processing the scene for at least the next three days. Now, the NTSB tells us the debris field from Chopper 6 is roughly 100 yards long. New Jersey State Park Police, they have identified the pilot as 67-year-old Monroe Smith, a longtime pilot at 6ABC, and the photographer, 45-year-old Christopher Dougherty. Both were killed in the crash. Investigators say the helicopter contracted through U.S. Helicopters, Inc. was flying back to Philadelphia as the crew was returning from an assignment at the Jersey Shore. Today, the investigator reported preliminary data shows the chopper was on course when the crash happened inside the Wharton State Forest in Washington Township, Burlington County, but it was in a descending pattern when it hit the trees. We will be looking at the physiology of the pilot on board. We'll also be looking at the weather conditions to see if they may have affected the aircraft. We'll be looking at the maintenance history of the aircraft. And we'll also be looking at records involving the aircraft's flight that day and the previous flights. Now, after the on-site work is complete here at the crash site, we're told that helicopter will be moved to a secure location where it will be examined further. We're also told a preliminary report is expected to be released in about 10 to 15 days, and then a final report that will take about 18 to 20 months. We're told it will likely detail what caused that helicopter to go down. That is the very latest. We are live this afternoon in Shimong Township. Ryan Hughes, CBS News, Philadelphia. Thank you, Ryan. We're